हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द रूट्स वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग टू रीड बिगिनर्स गाइड टू श्री वैष्णवम वी आर ऑन चैप्टर 20 उयकोंडार एंड मणकाल नंबी व्यास एंड परासरा एंटर आंडाल पाटीज होम अलोंग विद देयर फ्रेंड वेदवल्ली आंडाल पाटी वेलकम्स देम विद प्रसाद इन हर हैंड्स हियर टेक दिस प्रसाद एंड टेल मी हु योर न्यू फ्रेंड इज पाटी दिस इज वेदवल्ली हु हैज कम फ्रॉम कांजीपुरम फॉर हॉलिडेस वी ब्रॉट हर अलोंग विद अस सो दैट शी कैन लिसन टू योर स्टोरीज ऑन ग्लोरीज ऑफ आचार्यस Party, are we celebrating any festival today? Today is Thirunakshatram of Uyyakondar, who is also known as Pundarigakshar and Padmakshar. Party, can you tell us about this Acharya? He was born in Thiruvallare, Divya Desam, during the month of Chitra in Kartikeya star. He was given the name after Emperor of Thiruvallare. He was a prime disciple of Nada Munigal along with Kurugai Kavalappan. Nada Munigal was blessed with ashtanga yogam by nammalwar what is this yogam party it is a type of yoga through which one can experience bhagwan non stop without having to think about any bodily activities nada munigal taught ashtanga yoga to kurugai kavalappan and asked uyyakondar if he wanted to learn it uyyakondar said pinam kidakka manam punaralamo party does he say that one cannot enjoy when someone has died who has died brilliant parasara he said that when so many people are suffering in this world how can he think about enjoying bhagwan individually hearing this nada munigal was extremely pleased and appreciated uyyakondar's magnanimity he instructed both uyyakondar and kurugai kavalappan to teach ashtanga yogam and divya prabandham with meanings to ishwara muni's son nada munigal's own grandson that is who is soon to appear Party did Uyukundar have any sishya Manakal Nambi was his prime prime sishya at the time of leaving to Paramapadam Manakal Nambi asked about the successor and Uyukundar instructed Manakal Nambi himself to take care of sampradayam he also instructed Manakal Nambi to prepare Yamune Thurevar Ishwar Muni son to be the next acharya in line Party can you tell us about Manakal Nambi his original name was Rama Mishrar sorry Mishrar he was born in Manakkal during the month of Masi in the star of Magam like Madhurakavi Alwar who was very devoted to Nammalwar Manakkal Nambi was very devoted to Uyyakondar after the demise of Uyyakondar's wife he assumed the cooking kaingaryam and attended to every personal need of his acharya once Uyyakondar's daughter were returning back after bathing in the river and had to cross the slush when they were hesitant to walk on the muddy waters ram mishra laid himself down on the slush and allowed the girls to walk on his back hearing this uyakundar became very pleased with the dedication of nambi party next time when we meet can you tell us the story of yamane thurever party gladly says i will be very happy to do that when we meet next time and the children leave to their respective homes this topic deals with the life history of uyakonda and manakkal nambi uyakonda was a disciple of sri nada munigal uyakonda's real name was pundarikaksha his parents named him as pundarikaksha and his birth place was tiruvallarai one of another in divya desams and he lived like mother kavi alvar who treated is acharya equal to perumal pundari kaksha came to be known as uyakonda after this incident the incident was once he was asked to escort srinatha munigal's wife arvind pave to her maternal home there he was asked to sit in the courtyard and offered padayad old rice soaked in water pundarikaksha accepted it happily and he thought it was sri vaishnava prasadam when nada munigal came to know this he exclaimed so he asked him ennai uyyakondiro so from that onwards that incident onwards he came to be known as uyyakondar There was another incident which impressed the Acharya Sri Nada Munigal. 
See, Nathamanigal asked, Vyakandar, whether he wanted to learn Bhakti Yoga or Prapati Margam. Vyakandar answered, I want to take the entire human race to moksha. Why should I seek bridal union with Supreme when my fellow men are like corpses? That is, he asked, when there is a death in a house, how can we have a wedding? And the Acharya was very much pleased. He was very much impressed by the way he answered. Because through Prapati Margam, you can take everyone to Moksha, everyone to Bhagavan. So that is what Vyakanda explained. So Adamanigal taught him the secret knowledge of Sri Vaishnava tradition and the hymns of Alvar and all the Pasarams. And he commanded him to read all this to his own grandson. Sri Alavanda. So he did service to his Acharya throughout his life. And after his period, he handed over what all had been passed on to him by Sri Nadamanigal to his disciple Manakkal Nambi. So here we learn the Acharya Bhakti of Pundari Kaksha, otherwise known as Uyakonda. Manakkal Nambi. Rama Mishra came to be known as Manakkal Nambi. He was a disciple of Uyakonda. His Guru Bhakti was unparalleled. And he rendered continuous service to his guru, Uyakonda. Ramamishra came to be known as Manakkal Nambi because of this incident. The incident was, once Ramamishra was walking along with his guru's daughters, they had to cross a muddy water. He didn't want his guru's daughters to get into the muddy water. So he laid down on the water and he formed a human bridge. For the girls to cross over, they walked over him. So the sandy footprints fell on his back. So he came to be known as Manal Kal. Manakkal Nambi. His guru, Uyakonda, heard about it and he asked him, What do you want? Because he wanted to do something for his disciple. Because of that, Acharya Bhakti he showed. Then Manakkal Nambi said, I want to I want to do service to you forever. I should continue the service, this kind of service to you always. Vyakonda was pleased with this answer and he taught him the meanings of Dvaya Mantram and he taught him Ragasyatams and he also gave the responsibility of teaching these to the Grandson of Sri Nada Munigal. Vyakonda entrusted Manakkal Nambi with the three jobs. To hand over the Divya Mankala Murti of Bhavishyadacharya to his grandson, to grandson of Nada Munigal. Which was, give, which was given to Vyakonda by Nada Munigal. The second one to initiate Nadamanigal's grandson into secrets of Sri Vaishnavam. The third one to teach the 4000 Sri Shaktis of Arvas. So now Manakarnami had all these commands from his Acharya. His bhakti was unshakable. Acharya par, pari bhakti. And Nada Manikal's grandson was known as Yamanai Thoraivar. His name was Yamanai Thoraivar. Yamanai Thoraivar once won a, won a um, contest and he was conferred 
half of the kingdom by the pandian king so he was leading a royal life and he was then known as alavandar so manakanambi found out alavandar and he had to meet him so he entered the royal palace as a supplier of greens and slowly he became familiar with the people in the kitchen and sir he stopped supplying the greens then alavanda came to because he started liking the dish of dish made by the greens so he asked about that then he was told that that man is not coming nowadays so he inquired about it then he was um called again and he came back to the uh, palace and alavandar thanked him for the supply of greens and he asked what do you want in return then manakana be said i don't want anything i want to give you the treasure because the treasure was handed over by his guru so alavandar wanted to know what the treasures were then manaka nambi explain what all happened what was the uh, wish of his grandfather and how it was um, told to his guru and his guru asked him to hand it over all this um, to the grandson of nadamalikal so he briefed him about what all happened and he taught him the meaning of bhagavad gita 4000 verses that is nalaira divya prabandham and he took him to sri rangam took him to the sanctum sanctorum of ranganathar temple there he got lost then from that onwards sri alavandar he renounced his royal life and he he wanted to follow what his grandfather wanted